Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Touch a woman's spirit. Touch a woman's spirit. Now, somebody might call this game strategy, uh, whatever you want to call it. Understand that it works. See, one of the things, and first let me be clear. Whenever I'm talking body game, what do I say? That's the foundation. That gets the woman over there. That gets the woman to look at you. If you're approaching her, that gets her to stop. And any type of physical appearance gets her to stop. The suit, if you got a suit or uh, whatever your uh, clothing is, clothing style, shoes, uh, all of that. And it, it can give them, depending on what it is, like your physicality can give them a buzz. But as I always say, and because many women say, he was all right till he opened his mouth. See, the key thing, and this goes beyond like having a mouthpiece. You know, there's a lot of talk. Some people think, well, yeah, I got that mouthpiece. But the mouthpiece only facilitates one thing. It facilitates touching her spirit. What do I mean by her spirit? And I don't mean in a, a religious sense or a spiritual sense. I mean her intangibles. What's Her spirit is her personality, her temperament. Uh, the things she likes, the things she don't like, uh, how she feels about herself. Uh, is she outgoing or is she introverted? What is she passionate about? What are her little quirks? If as a man, you can touch her spirit, you go a long way. Indeed, in those situations with the infamous, well, average guy with a beautiful woman, many cases it wasn't his physicality many women will meet a guy and they will say he wasn't handsome at first to them but he grew on them what he really grew on was their spirit he grew on their spirit which means he clicked with their personality he clicked with their personality now you get some guys they they throw out well you know your looks are your personality no they're not no they're not because that means if your looks change or something changes about you physically, your personality change. But how many people have, how many people have like, they either put on weight, lost weight, everything, and their personality was generally the same. That's intangible. In fact, our bodies change regardless anyway. But your personality, the most that can do is grow. Yes, it can change, but not based on what you look like. That's an important thing. And see, the women, see, you understand something with women. Yes, they are very physical, yeah. Hey, touching a woman's body means a lot, just how you interact with her physically, but you also have to interact with her emotionally. You have to touch her spirit. And in order to really touch her spirit, you gotta be in touch with yours. See, a lot of guys, a lot, I'm gonna tell you what, a problem with a lot of men is, is not their physicality, is not their height, or whether or not they're muscular, or whether or not they're handsome. It's their mindset, it's their personality. Like, let me give an example. Let me give an example. There's a lot of guys, a lot of men, just ironically, many who call themselves nice guys, who think, oh, the women don't want me because, you know, I'm so nice. Or they, t they talk trash. Like, I knew this guy, I knew this guy. He always called, he always called women bitches in private, always, but very polite in public. And I, I called him on, I said, okay, you calling them a bitch, right? You have all these things, negative things to say about them. Women gonna pick up on it. They gonna pick up on it, regardless of how you look to them, because you wanna talk to them in such a way that they are gonna pick up your dislike. They are gonna hear it in the tone of your voice. They are gonna feel it. That's their spirit. See, you gotta see, you, when you're talking about dealing with women, you still got to deal with those intangibles. Everything else just gets them in the door. Your looks get them over there. And yes, you need that bait. You need that bait. You need to look as best as possible. There's no ifs, ands, and buts. Clean yourself up as best, or at least have a look that she has an interest in. But then that's the second step, that she get to know you. Like, oh, when you go on a date, let's use the example of dates. Let's use the example of dates. 
when you go on a date, generally it's because you like how that person looks. You meet them and they're like you're very attractive. The date is to get to know them. Often people will go on a date, they're very attractive, they find they very they got mutual attraction. They get on a date and they find out they don't have anything in common. Shoot, talking about touching a woman's spirit, she don't really touch yours. Some men will plow through anyway. More advanced men, older and mature men will be like, nah, she ain't it for them. But you gotta still click on that level. Now, only time that it might be just physicality is if she's just looking for sex and she don't really care about your emotion. And if you want, well, let's just be real, only a few, handful of men got it like that. All other men gotta click with her personality. I don't care what it is. Even if they otherwise considered handsome or tall or whatever else, look like they have some money dressed well, they still gotta click with her personality. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. When you're dealing with a woman, go upstairs. Okay, I don't care how fine she is. I mentioned that before. There's a woman on um, IG. Real, very attractive, very attractive, uh, real killer body, everything, beautiful, killer body. But I remember, I never forget a post she said. I talked about this before. She said, you want to see the body drop? Aim at the head or aim at the brain, something like that. See, if somebody wanted to get with her, instead of telling her how pretty she is, talk about like hip hop or comic books with her. That's, that was her personality. Some people probably know who I'm talking about. But here's the thing, that's very important for all women ultimately. You gotta hit them upstairs, I don't care who they are. I don't care who they are. Even guys talking about trying to get with some beautiful women, find out what's up. I said that in my book, Meeting Attractive Women. Go upstairs, touch their spirit, be you like hit the intangibles. And, and that's so powerful that even if you're of average look, even if you are of average look, you get more of a shot. Because many a woman that say he was all right at first, just all right, and then say, oh, he's gorgeous. That's because the spirit. See, understand something. The outer form is really, I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like a laptop. It's like a laptop or a smartphone. Okay, got a great outer form, looks good, got the packaging, but it's nothing without the software, nothing. That's the software you get at because the software can influence, see the inner can influence the outer. The inner can influence the outer. So you try to get at that woman, hit the brain, hit her spirit, find out what she about, talk with her, have a real conversation. Even tell her that, even tell her that, just say, okay, you know what, you're very beautiful, I wanna see what's upstairs. You can just straight up tell her that. You wanna see what's going on with her personality, see if they, see if you actually click. See, unfortunately, some guys, they just focus it on the physical and then they lead in with their wallets, doing a bunch of stuff or getting intimidated. Instead of saying, hold up, let me see what her brain's talking about. Let me see what she's talking about, what she into. That's the important thing. And see, if you focus, if, you, if in your mind you thinking, okay, I wanna get, I wanna see what's up with her. I wanna talk with her. I wanna see what's up. Yeah, she fine, but you know, I don't want to deal with the rest. Because that's how a lot of guys get played. They're so busy focused on the pretty and how she is. They ain't worried about her personality. A lot of guys get played like that. She looked good. She had a fat ass, though. Nah, find out what's up. Find out what's up. So you're doing it on two levels. It's you you benefiting. Uh, you, it's a win-win. If you touch her spirit, you get in. You get in. If you can, like, touch her spirit. If you can like really see what's tingling, if you can get her interested through your personality, you win. And then you actually, if you can't, like say you can't, or you touch in a spirit and you find out she got some foul, toxic stuff with her, you actually save yourself. Because while you touch her, you get her comfortable, she start talking, she say some things, you're like, mm, and you roll out from that. All right? So I want you to think about that. Like you got, you, you have to, the personality, you, anybody who try to say, oh, it don't matter and all of that, already know they not dealing with enough women. Already know. Because you have to, you gotta talk with them. 
women use on average 20,000 words a day on average. Men use about 10,000 on average. So, and even the words that they're using is coming from whatever's in their spirit. So, you get there, that's a great, that's a, that's a great uh, talent. It's a great thing to have in your, uh, in your toolbox. All right? So anyway, that's all. Oh, hold up, let me, before I go for it, because people say, how do I develop that? Uh, I'm gonna tell you something now. If you need help developing your own personality, because that's how you develop it, you gotta develop who you are. And then learn, learn some social skills to communicate, to find out what's up on her, with her. And the only way you're gonna learn is to go out and practice. You know, just saying hi goes a long way. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.